Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraAutomation.com and welcome to another video from Isra Automation. And today in this video, we are going to talk about understanding file descriptor in Bash and Linux operating system. So a file descriptor is an integer value that identifies an open file of a process. It is used for reading, writing and manipulating files. And each file resources or even network socket will have a unique file descriptor associated with it. So as you can see in this particular diagram, this is the file descriptor table, which actually has got a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and all these integer values. And there are very, very rare cases that there will be a process with a negative value as well. But that is not something we are going to be discussing in this particular video. But as you can see, all these file descriptor values are associated with a file table with a read, write, or read, write operation permission. And this is in turn going to be associated with an inode table which is going to be showing you the exact path from where this particular file can be accessed or the process can access the particular file so this is how the file descriptor is going to look like and the file descriptor with most of the modern operating system will have a common file descriptor something like this like the standard input is going to have a file descriptor of zero and standard output will have a file descriptor of one and the standard error is going to have a file descriptor of two. So this is how the whole file descriptor is going to look like in most of the common modern operating system of Linux. And basically this file descriptor is an abstract representation used for accessing a file or an input output resources. And it's opened with a open method and closed with a closed method. Again, these methods are something which is used internally in the Linux kernel, which is mainly used to open and close the resources, which is not something we are gonna be even literally seeing in this particular demo, but this is how the file descriptor is basically gonna be working. In order to view all the available file descriptor within our own operating system, we can just use something like an ls slash proc slash dollar dollar slash fd to see all the file descriptors. And as you can see here, I have a file descriptor of zero, one, two, which is the standard file descriptor and it ranges up to 255, which is any number in between can be your own custom file descriptor, all the file descriptor which can be used by another processes. And the five is something which I have created in custom as well. And I'm gonna show you how we can do that in this particular lecture. Every process will have its own file descriptor as you can see over here. So if you grab the gedit or Firefox, whatever, you will notice that it is gonna have a process number and then you can put this particular process number in the place of the dollar uh, dollar. And then you can see all the file descriptor numbers coming in over here. So that is how you can see that how the file descriptor are associated. And you'll also notice that there is going to be an inode over here, which is the table, which is going to tell you from where the file is basically going to access the process and something like that. And also it tells you zero, one and two, which is the standard input output as well as the error operation. And so all these things are going to be displayed over here as well. And we can create our own file descriptor as I just told you. You can use this command called exec of file descriptor name. And then you have to use this greater than symbol, which is nothing but you are basically going to be doing an output redirect. If you remember in our last video, we discussed about it to the ampersand one. So as I told you, this one is basically going to be a standard output operation. So from the five, it is gonna do a standard output. So basically zero is associated with the standard input, one is for the standard output, and two is for the standard error. And the five right now is gonna basically redirect everything to a standard output. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do an exec of five of the greater than symbol, which is gonna be the redirection to a command.txt. And once we do that, you will notice that we are basically going to be redirecting this five itself to a command.txt. And then if we do an print of the directory listing, and if we redirect that to an ampersand five, so basically we have to explicitly tell that we need to use this file descriptor, which is something but the five, you will see that once I do a cat of command text, it is going to print all the different files that I have really got there. So it's going to be very interesting, basically. And I will show you how this whole thing is going to look like. And we can also remove the file descriptor once we are done with it by using the exec 
of the file descriptor name and then we can use the redirect and then ampersand of minus to do a removal of the file descriptor from the file descriptor listing that we have got so this is how this is going to look like as well so let's see how this whole thing actually looks like in a demo so the first thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to show you all the different file descriptor that i have already got so i can just go to the slash proc of dollar dollar slash fd to show you my file descriptors so it is 0 1 2 and 255 and if i wanted to actually print any value which is nothing but the actual value that you do over here is basically going to be a standard output which is nothing but the file descriptor of one and if there is going to be any error happens which is nothing but if i try doing an ls or maybe cat of a file which doesn't exist dot txt you'll notice that it is going to be printing me a error message over here and this is nothing but a standard error output that is actually being printed so this value is nothing but the two in the file descriptor and if you want to get any input you basically get it using value zero which is nothing but as you can see over here the cat and if you do any value there which is nothing but the input that you're typing in is basically going to be a input value here so let's say test something like that and you can see that it is printing it out immediately because that is what it does right so that is the standard input and there's going to be a standard output there which is great so now that we have understood the 0 1 and 2 so let's say if i want to see all the file descriptor which any process is currently using for example if i'm gonna open a firefox here this is the process that we have mostly used within our demonstration before and if i wanted to just do an ps hyphen aux to get the process name of the firefox and hit enter you'll notice that this is the process the so 6273 is going to be the process which is basically going to be something that i can use to see what are their file descriptors so i can just do an ls hyphen la proc slash this particular process id and then if i do an fd you will notice that the firefox is actually using all these different file descriptors over here so you can see that there is a zero which is the standard input and the standard input is actually been redacted to a slash dev slash null and i will talk about that in a minute but for now you can see that there is no input really other than the gui that is going to do everything for you in the firefox so it's not going to accept anything over here so input is been redacted to a null and then there's going to be a one which is going to basically take all the output to a socket and then there is going to be a two probably somewhere here for the standard error or something like that but you can see that there are so many different file descriptor here which is going to do a lot of different operations for you right so this is how you can actually see all the different operations that you can see but if you wanted to see a specific file descriptor for example two you can get it from here something like that and similarly if you wanted to, to see a file descriptor for for example an 83 you can see all the process which is going to be done for this particular file descriptor with 83 is going to be printed out for you over here right so this is how you can actually use the file descriptor for the particular process so every single process which is running within ubuntu operating system is going to have a lot of different process and each process is going to have a lot of different file descriptor being opened and they are managed by mostly those process itself well as that said we are going to create our own file descriptor this time and see how it is going to look like so basically not to create our own file descriptor i'm going to use this keyword called as exec which is going to help you for me to do any execution and the way which i'm going to do it is i'm going to create a file which is the file descriptor uh, and then i'm going to be basically redirecting it to number one basically it's going to redirect every single value that I'm going to be typing in to that particular output, which is a ampersand one there. And then I'm going to do an exec of five, where I'm going to direct everything to a command.txt file. 
And then I'm going to do an ls hyphen la or the ps hyphen aux and I'm going to redirect everything to my file descriptor 5 over here. But even before I do that, let's see how this file descriptor is going to look like as well. So I can just do an ls hyphen l of the proc slash dollar dollar slash fd and if I hit enter, you will notice that I have this particular file descriptor over here and you will also notice that the file is basically going to be linked to a slash home slash parallels slash command dot txt and this is what we have just did over here and there is this evidence that it is being created for us over here so basically this file descriptor is basically or essentially pointing to this particular command.txt file. So now we can visually see that this is how the actual linking is really happening with this particular file descriptor, right? But as I said, now if I try doing an ps hyphen aux of the ampersand of five, and if I hit enter, you notice that there is nothing going to be printed out because everything is been redirected to the ampersand five, which is the file descriptor five. And now this file descriptor five is then going to put everything into the command.txt for me. So now if I just do a cat of the command.txt, you will notice that it is going to print all these value for me there. So this is how the actual file descriptor basically works in Linux operating system. But as I said, how do I actually remove this file descriptor? As I told you, that's very simple as well. All you have to do is now you need to deregister all this value, which is going to be something like exez of the five the descriptor name. And then there is something called as ampersand of minus. So this will basically tell me that please remove this particular file descriptor out from my listing that I have got. And now if I hit enter, you'll notice that that, file, that particular file descriptor is completely gone because we have removed it. So this is how we can work with the file descriptors in Bash as well as the Linux operating system. This is one of the most important concepts to understand because while we start working with the shell scripting, we will be using different arguments as well as the parameter to be passed for a shell script and file descriptor is going to play a key role there to tell about the file as well as the parameter that we have passed and perform an operation based upon the argument that we have passed into the shell scripting.